Good afternoon again. It's a first alert weather day today and tomorrow as we're watching rain transition over to snow. It's been a while since we've seen some snow in the valley. One of our cameras around the region. This is in Grand Forks. I want to just show how much grass we're seeing even in the northern valley. Uh, you can see a lot of it here on the Greenway uh, in Grand Forks and East Grand Forks from the East Grand Forks side of the river. You can also make out the uh, uh, downtown buildings there, even though it's been a little foggy and gloomy in this area that continues uh, to lift a little bit more in some places. Our visibility is improving. So speaking of snow depth, you can see that uh, where we've got our map here, a lot of areas where we don't have any snow on the ground anymore. It's really in the northern tier. But what has changed is we've added snow in central North Dakota as the system has been moving in. And we'll see this map change coming up here as we get a little more snow, especially in the northern valley. But even in Fargo, we could pick up a little light snow. Right now you see the uh, grass uh, looking almost green right now in February. Wild uh, weather continues here, at least for one more day. Low clouds. We've had some rain showers in Fargo, Moorhead, and in other places in the valley. A look around to some of our DOT cams. East Grand Forks over by Cavalier. You can see some drops or even it looks like it might be icing up a little bit on the camera there. A Benford area was looking very murky earlier on. Same thing with New Rockford. Some improvement in those places for visibility. And again, a look at our visibility reports. Now, some places they're down because of the rain, others because of some fog. Wapiton, Fergus Falls, we've been getting rain there. A visibility is less than two miles. Grand Forks, less than a half or less than a mile at a half mile visibility. And Cavaliers, less than a mile right now. And this stretches all the way back to Bemidji where we're seeing some showers too. So here's a look at the latest. We've got the radar showing rain over a good portion of the valley. The radar at least indicating there's a transition for snow. I'm waiting to get some reports and some ground truth of a snow coming down in some of these places where it's definitely been falling is in this band of snow back over by Minot and Bismarck here this afternoon. So in general, we're looking out for moisture right now in places like Fargo, uh, stretching back in through the Castleton area, back up to Faustin and Thief River Falls, Ada there. And then there's that transition line. So maybe by Tower City, we could be seeing a few flakes uh, mixed in. And again, visibility going to be a factor for us north and south here for today. So talking about lower visibility in areas because of rain and fog, but that snow is soon going to take over. You can see where our temperatures are colder. Devil's Lake, Langdon, we're below freezing there. Points West, that's where icing may be occurring in some of our roadways. It's still 40 in Fargo, still very warm, uh, though we have come down since this morning and we'll continue to watch that temperature slide. So here's our hour by hour planner. Again, a rain snow transition happening as the afternoon progresses here. So getting into the three o'clock hour, we could see some areas getting a little bit of snow in eastern North Dakota. But again, the focus is more rain. Temperatures will still along the Red River and East be above freezing around that 3 p.m. hour. But watch what happens as we go from 3 through the 5 o'clock hour and into the 7 o'clock hour. We transition to snow during that time. This is 7 p.m. And some areas where we could be getting some more significant snow falling. Here's the thing, though. Temperatures are still going to be very close to freezing or even above. So there's going to be some melting initially with this before we start to see it stick a little bit more. So that will eat into snowfall totals, but still looking at the potential for some accumulation here. This is 11 p.m. Still waiting on snow and bedette at that point, but eventually it does take over. And then as we make our way into Friday morning, it's ongoing at that point, but not as widespread. Some isolated to scattered areas of light snow. So snowfall potential, we're talking about lesser amounts to the south, higher amounts to the north, uh, anywhere from one to three inches for uh, several places. But keep in mind again uh, that we're looking at some of this melting before it reaches the ground. Bottom line is, is it's not going to be heavy. We're looking at a few inches of snow possible, maybe making for some slick roads, some uh, messy conditions in a lot of spots. And uh, Friday, you can see that temperature so much colder. 28 degrees, your high will stay below freezing, so that snow sticking for around for a while, at least on the grassy areas. With temperatures still relatively warm for February, it may be a little melty on some of our roads and, yeah. and those kind of surfaces too. Yeah, definitely almost a 20 degree drop from today to tomorrow. Big drop. Yeah, yeah. we were in the upper 40s early this morning. We're yeah down from that now and we'll right. just keep that slide yeah. going. Yeah, Lisa, thank you so much. Well, coming up on your news at noon, the IRS is now accepting tax returns. We'll have some tips and some free resources to help you get those returns done.